Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. My name is Elijah and after a very long wait, Stranger Things 3 has finally released. And honestly, it really did live up to the overall expectation that we had initially set for it and really stayed true to the standard that was set in the first two seasons of this show. But how does this season stack up? to the other seasons, and is this season as good as the previous seasons? Well, that's something we're going to talk about today, along with talking about some of the best moments from Stranger Things 3. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, one of the greatest things that we definitely wanted to talk about as far as like best moments goes has to go to the overall pacing of this season. The first season really started off with a bang and just kind of jumped out of the gate with a slow and gradual build up from there but there was always the suspense right away and the second season kind of mixed up the formula and for the most part it seems like the third season stays more true to how they handled the second season but they really refined it a little bit and the first episode alone is kind of the great example of this because they really reintroduce us to all of the characters that play really unique parts in this show but it also kind of grows them also implicitly which is really cool to see how they kind of use the time gap between seasons two and three to grow the characters and we get to kind of see where the characters are now after all of that growth that has happened off screen and it was done really really well and it sets the stage for where the season can go without explicitly having to tell us this is what happened to this character and we really appreciated that right out of the gate so overall the first episode really does a great job at just kind of establishing the grounds for what's going to happen this season they also introduce the mall which plays a major element in both the plot and the overall location of one of the major plot points so it was really nice to see it introduced in episode one rather than doing like a grand opening reveal midway through the season like a lot of us speculated so overall really great move we really appreciated that Another great thing is just how they handled the grouping of the characters. Stranger Things has always kind of stuck to the formula of just pairing up certain groups of characters together, and this season kind of does the same thing, and it's really cool how they did it, because they kept a lot of the groupings that we really have liked over the years, and kind of stayed true to just some of the pairings that we've liked, but also spent some time pairing up some characters in a way that we maybe wouldn't have expected. We definitely got to see a ton of Dustin and Steve's bromance, which was really liked in season two, and it was really just kind of it pushed more in this season and it was fun to watch overall and the introduction of the character Robin was really well appreciated and it just added this extra dynamic that worked out well. We also saw just a ton of growth from the groups of characters and kind of how as they're entering maturity and becoming teenagers they kind of start to have some friction between their friend group and that's something that's very real to a lot of people going from middle school to high school so it was cool to kind of see that dynamic played. And also there was just a lot of like really good development overall. We loved the dynamic of Max and Eleven together and that was awesome too. Okay, one of the best scenes in this new season has to go to the sauna test episode which was kind of like a midway point of the show but it was just so well done and just action sequence there at the end was so interesting and so Stranger Things it almost felt like a season finale and it was only halfway through and it just really set the tone for where the show was going in the later half of the season and it just did a lot for the characters it really kind of established the importance of what was going on where the previous episodes were setting up the stage for just some moving mysteries and just the way they handled the midway point was really exciting and rewarding and that was really unexpected that they would kind of just give us so much action in a mid-season point episode so that was really really appreciated and it just it, it was just so well done and the way that they're handling the character billy and the way they handled the character billy throughout this whole season was really unique and unexpected but appreciated at the same time we really felt like this character had a full story arc 
and that was awesome as well. And then the finale episode was just jaw-dropping and how amazing it was and how satisfying some of those moments were just because there's just this intensity in the Starcourt Mall and this just really, really spooky and exciting thing that happens. We don't want to go too much into spoilers in this video, but it was really, really cool to see and you guys are really going to appreciate it if you haven't seen it already for sure. And just overall, the way that they handled that final episode and just those final moments in the, the big climax was really, really cool. And then, of course, they really set the stage for what we're going to see in the future. We kind of see that they're building up to something and season three definitely served as that bridgeway into where this show is going to go moving forward. We know it's not going to be one of those shows that drags on forever, so we're expecting it to wrap up either next season or maybe one more season after that, but this definitely feels like the turning point. It, there's just too much has happened to Hawkins now for anything to really ever be normal, and that's kind of what this season gambled with or felt like it was constantly trying to see if things can ever be normal again and after this season it doesn't look like things can be normal and we're gonna have to deal with those repercussions moving forward and that'll be really interesting to see as well now also just in general when we look at this season it did a lot of great things in character development and it also did a lot of interesting things with the plot they are introducing a lot of new characters each season, and sometimes it feels like some of the characters that were very central and important in previous seasons maybe weren't as forefront in these later seasons. More specifically, it kind of felt like Mike didn't get to be fleshed out, and he was kind of the main character in the first season, or one of the main characters. Kind of felt like he got sidelined a little bit. Not that it's a huge flaw to the show, but maybe we would have liked to see a little bit more of this character just because of how important he played earlier on in the series. But at the same time, where they go with some of these other characters that you didn't really expect and how they fleshed out those other characters, or even characters that have been fleshed out before like Steve, who continue to develop and grow as a person, is really likable and something we can really appreciate along the way. Eleven's another one of those characters who I feel like is kind of oddly neglected since she was such a crucial character in the first season and obviously she's the most important character I guess in this new season as far as the kids are concerned but it still feels like they're maybe not exploring her as much as they could utilize her so hopefully in future seasons they really kind of aim back at that character as well. It's a little weird that she's still kind of talking a little bit odd. I feel like at this point she's been surrounded with enough friends where she should kind of be a little bit norm more normal, but they are definitely making her more normal and definitely the sequence with her and Max was great steps in the right direction. We just feel like by this point it's probably should be assumed that she kind of has a little bit better social skills than maybe what we're seeing. She doesn't need to play up to this mysterious role as much if we know so much about her already, or they can flush her out more and give us more mystery to wonder about. But these are really just nitpicky things because overall the series and this season was possibly my favorite season to date, and that's really rare for me to say with shows that have been around for a while and have set the bar so high with the first two seasons but I just loved the storytelling. The 80s aesthetic is just so on point here and just the mall aesthetic was such a great choice. Them utilizing the 4th of July and just how they evolved the plot is just was so well crafted and we really just appreciated how they handled everything that they did in this season. The break I think paid off. It definitely felt like there was a need for this new season to come rather than just a blink of an eye and the new season was here and it catches people off guard and nobody really cares too much. But overall, it was a pretty solid season and it kind of makes me dread the wait we're going to probably have to do between seasons three and seasons four. And on top of all of that, we're going to see how these kids continue to grow. And that's one thing that this show has that we didn't really think about early on, but these kids are growing up fast and it's really nice that the plot moves with 
the kids. And it's going to be interesting, especially with what happens in the final episode, how some of these characters are going to change, not necessarily interacting with each other as much and not being able to be a part of each other's lives as much. There's going to be some catching up to do whenever some of these characters are reunited again in a future season. And we're also going to have to see if one of these characters will even be coming back in future seasons. It's kind of not looking like it's possible, but never say never because we really, really don't want one of these characters to be gone forever just because they're so central to the story and they had been so central to the story and growth of the show so far. But we really wanted to turn this around to you guys. What did you guys think of Stranger Things 3? Leave a comment down below. Were you a fan of this season? We've also done a couple of videos on Stranger Things in the past, so make sure you check them out and be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this because you're not going to want to miss what we upload next. We'll see you all next time, guys, with a brand new video. Bye, guys. I'm Sorry about to. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hi. 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 <laughs> 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 See you guys.